The Research Institute and the National Agriculture Research Organization. Uh, as a source of oil, you know, this is vegetable oil, very good. It has a number of other good characteristics that uh, the figures will be talking about. They will explain details of the vegetable products. But really, in terms of improving health and nutrition and household kingdom, this is one of the crops that we are really encouraging people to grow so that they can really improve on their what? their nutrition, improve on their income and generally the economy of the country. constraints are being looked at. One, we need to improve the yield. Two, we need to improve the, 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 the resistance to pest and diseases. But the emphasis is that once we come up with good varieties that we feel are good, these varieties need to reach the end users, the farmers, the producers, so that they access and improve on their yields. This is um, a resistant variety and at least you can see that there's some sizable yield in here. Now in farmers' fields, when they plant susceptible varieties, everything appears like they stunted and they don't get anything else. But the research has gone ahead and got for us, you know, something at least which is resistant and a farmer can get um, a thing or two about it. This type of varieties are good for confectionery. Uh, this is the one whereby, you know, you roast, you know, and uh, fry and eat them up. They are big seeded and uh, what we like about this particular um, line is it's also drought tolerant. Imagine it is about two weeks to get ready but we still have the green leaf so the farmers can still use the remaining part here to feed the livestock and then you know some bit of it also can be used to, to make briquettes so it is quite a good uh, something we're looking at and it's climate smart with all this uh, climate variability we need to be uh, having varieties which are very uh, tolerant to most of the stresses like drought and still give appreciable yield. We, we encourage farmers to look for resistant varieties which is freely available with us in Naro, other than them relying on their um, local varieties. Uh, we are glad that working with the stakeholders we have really managed to push our improved technologies you know, ground has improved technologies to the rural areas. A number of people now are growing high improved varieties. The breeders will tell you that we have released quite a number of varieties, almost over 16 varieties, which are all good yearly. And producers are free to choose. Go around, you will find that most farmers are now produce our materials. Most of them are tolerant to reset, which has been a problem for a long time. We also take caution that farmers still prefer some of their old varieties, like the Red Beauty. A number of people still like it. And what we are trying to do is, we are trying to improve on that Red Beauty, so that with the time, we can give it back to farmers, but with the resistance to a number of other diseases. So we are here really very busy working with the interest that we produce what our stakeholders really Require, what the producers require, what the farmers require, and what the consumers will be interested in. So generally, that's what is happening. But have the breeders, have the agronomists, pathologists, and the others, feed system specialists who will talk more about some of the issues and they will explain, you know, some of the constraints in the various disciplines that are being tackled in this project. Otherwise, thanks so much.